catch. Thanks, Steve. So don't thank so, me. That's uh, Paul from um, foxcalls.com. He contacted me and said, uh, hey, listen, you want to try some of uh, the whistles that I've been bringing in? Or the callers that I've been bringing in? And I said, oh. Well. Yeah, so look. That's a good day to do that because oh. I've forgotten mine. <laughs> <laughs> he sells them in combinations. Oh, I can't remember the names of each one. But I do remember the name of that yellow one. Now, that yellow one straight up... Uh, it's called a T2. T2. And uh, I've actually just given it a little bit of a try as far as practice with it. And it's basically a tenor field whistle with a little hooter on the side of it. So uh, That operate separately. Yeah, so it's a lot two whistles in one or two. Ooh. Ooh. It's not actually bad for, no. for a bit of plastic. I was pretty impressed. Just go a, bit, a little bit firmer and... <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> Don't start. People will talk. <laughs> oh, the, see? It has mirror too. Shit. Yeah. Geez, they're all right. They're going to be a bit of fun. So, you, you uh, good today? I'll be right. good. I'll be good. I brought some bullets too. Is everything. It's the way you put your tongue on the instrument. Exactly. I've had a few people tell Mate, me that. You get the tongue right and you get the pleasures. looking for the fox and he's found another snake. How do you know it's the same one? I think we're up to about, we're up to possibly three snakes now. He's just nailed a fox, it's kicked off into the bracken and we're trying to locate it. Uh, I've seen one snake and he goes, that's not that big. I said, that's a different snake. And now he's over in that bracken. And you found another one? No, yeah. Um, no, yeah. But I found fresh blood, mate. You found fresh blood, I've got to go in. We have fox. You found it. Oh, mate, I'm a... He's a tracker. You the man. The fox is there. Where are you, Foxy? Oh, Foxy. Where are you? I love my deer hunting, but I tell you what, <laughs> this is better on the legs. Exactly. Cover so much ground so quick. Drop in, cover three or four hundred metres, five hundred metres, move on to the next location, have a bit of a whistle. Hey, it's got merit. Took about 10 seconds for this thing. I must admit, it seems to be working all right. Mate, he came straight down. I was just a little bit lucky too because those trees sort of covered quite a bit of that hill. I just happened to see the flash come down the hill and I thought, geez, he's yeah, coming in a, a bit hard. I was a little bit slow with the camera, but seemed to do the job. Yeah. 
again, probably 20, 30 seconds. Yeah, if but, that. No, it was very quick, that one. So, yeah, this little yeah. T2, uh, I think it's going to stay with me for a little while. Well, yeah. But, uh, and the Maybe rifle? Shooting many, beautifully, many, Steve. Many people ask about his rifle. Now, that's a Seiko L461. That's an A1. Yeah, which is an L461 A1. Yes, correct. All right. Zeiss 8x56. Uh, yes, 8x56 Shoot, T. Shooting 50 grain VMAX. Is it? Yep. It's pretty hard to beat. They are. Stay there. You got a mate? Yeah, I just walked straight past him with it about a metre. And all he did was do just that. So he's pretty docile. We could have had a snake sandwich then. <laughs> no. Not my flavour. <laughs> Not my preferred flavour. No. But it just shows you, like, um, you do have to have your wits about you, but you don't have to be scared of snakes. There's a lot of people seem to think Australia's this bad location that uh, every snake's going to jump out and bite you. Well, to be honest with you, unless you just step on them or something, they're pretty docile. Now, it's what we would class, well, it's spot on, 10 o'clock. Yeah. It's what we would class as snake o'clock. And really, um, we were there for the best part of five, ten minutes. Oh, yeah. And he just wanted to see what we were. And as long as you have no threat to them, they're just going to leave you alone and go on their own way. I'll start off with a little squeaker. Tell you what, my little trumpet, mate. They came straight. <laughs> they came straight to that. <laughs> they did, didn't they? Yeah, I was a and bit surprised. It's not as loud yeah. as, as the tenterfield part of it, mm. but mate, they they come in from probably two, three hundred yards away. Yeah, so. it's just so handy to have those on the same exactly item, yeah. like you know, without yeah. having to fiddle with anything what, mate, in movement. I haven't tried the others as yet because this one's sort of what I'd pick up and go to straight away. Yeah. It's definitely the T2 Terminator 2. I'm going to call it.